Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to compress your images for your blogs and optimize them using tinypng.com. Let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I changed my desktop wallpaper. No more Jennifer Connelly. I don't want y'all thinking I'm a pervert, okay? I have downloaded four images from Pixabay. That's this site here, pixabay.com. You can get all kinds of images that you want for your blog over here. No need to pay a cent, okay? It's all royalty free. Now we go back and I have four images here. That's one, two, three, and four. Oh, what's that? It's Jennifer Connolly. You know what? To hell with Henry Ford. Ah, now that's better. So we come back to tinypng.com, click on this button, and now choose these four images. Okay, open. And this is the part where it's compressing the images. You saw that it's gone from 230 kilobytes to 189, down by 18%, 4%, 14, and this was down by 54%. Click on download all, save the file. See a tiny file folder, nothing tiny about Jennifer Connolly. Okay, so I'll delete this. And what we're going to do is come back here, refresh the page because we're going to tiny file them again. If you leave these here, you will have another row of four images. And when you try to download them, you'll download all eight. So you don't want that, just refresh the page and open the tiny fight folder so they all open. So you see the images have been compressed even further, down by 11%, 4, 8 and 10%. Download all of it, A file, open it. So that 165 kilobytes, 194 and so on is much smaller than what it used to be. So what does that mean for you? It means that your blog, page, post, whatever, will load faster when the images are smaller in size, okay? And the faster your site loads, the better it is for your search engine optimization and for the user experience too. Okay, let me show you something. Now I'm on Amazon S3, I have created a folder and uploaded the number two image. Okay, so if I click on it, and click on this, it will copy the object URL, okay, for the image. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail and show you how to use Amazon S3 because I have an entire blog post with 20 videos showing you exactly how you can use this fantastic service. And Amazon S3 is very affordable and it's much faster than your blog would ever be. So, you, you want the URL from here, We'll come back to the blog post. Okay, I'll delete these ducks. So now I click add media. Just now we uploaded it from the media library. This time we'll insert from the URL, which is this URL here, okay? I'll paste it here. Wait for you to call up the image and you can align it here. I'll just align it center. Insert into post and well, it's in the center. You have to take my word for it. Update, view it. You saw that? So the image is now here. If I go back, if I click on media library and you see that the image is not here because we are not storing it in our web hosting. That means your blog post is going to load faster. You will be using less storage space in your web hosting account and overall it's going to be cheaper. You know, this is a win, win, win situation. Now, if you liked this tip, you like my secret list of marketing resources there's a link in the description for you to download it and use it all the tools are free and uh, it's fantastic okay don't forget to click on the like button and the subscribe and i'll see you in the next video with a new jennifer connelly wallpaper bye bye